excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Punch is blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by himself. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Clean with the right hook. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asani. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Good punch, land. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plan. Look at the turtle in that kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie close. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Two minutes to go in round one. A little single collar tie there. Big ball from Punch Land. Now we get back to the ring. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, oh. He's hurting that down. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice strike to the midsection glances. from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage at that level. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Single collar tie now. Left hand punches the clinch. Hands up the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest. A position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they separate.
round. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, single collar tie now. Unable to connect with the right hook. Kick to the body by Adesanya. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come for me without a combo. I want the whole... <laughs> you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big kick land. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And there comes the separation now. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Oh, straight right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. in a single collar tie. somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Carter. Right, 
Well, the next time he fights, it'll be black trunks with gold oh. trim. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Champion.